Yo, what is going on everyone? Gunning Light here back with another video and in this one I'm going to show you guys how to complete X marks the spot. Now this is going to be a little bit of a longer video only because there's so much that goes into completing this mission, but I will show you guys how you can unlock the keypad in the Kosechi complex with the R40 detector and also extract that map. So this is actually a somewhat easy mission, there's just a lot of steps involved. So let's get right into this and I'll show you guys how to get this one done. Now in order to get started, what you will need to do is head to the Kosechi complex. You can do this by going through any one of the entrances. The only thing that I highly suggest doing before going into Kosechi complex is making sure that you have a car battery and a jumper cable on your character. The reason for this is because we'll, we will be going into Alpha Cluster. And so if you guys didn't know this already, in order to get into Alpha Cluster, you will need a car battery and a jumper cable. And once you guys have these items, head on into Kosechi Complex. It doesn't matter which entrance you go into. The only thing that matters is that you have a car battery and a jumper cable on you before getting in here because it will make things a lot easier. And I'll show you guys why in just a second. So fast travel into Kosechi Complex. Now, once you guys are in the Kosechi Complex, you'll want to make your way to the chemical plant. And then from the chemical plant, you'll want to go to Alpha Cluster. Now, another thing that you will need to complete this mission is an R4D detector. And this is really easy to find. It spawns almost in the exact same spot every single game. And so I'll show you guys where you can find it here in just a second. So once you guys have made your way through, there should be a blast door you have to open up. This will take you guys to the chemical plant. Once you guys are in chemical plant, you'll need your night vision goggles. And I'll show you guys exactly where you need to go to get this one done. So once you guys get into chemical plant, what you'll want to do is actually head to the east. So after going through this blast door, just take a look at your compass up top and head to the east. This is how you will be able to get to Alpha Cluster every single time. Now, another thing you will need to do is get yourself that detector, the R4D detector I was talking about earlier. I'll show you guys where it spawns every single time, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. Now, you may notice that this Alpha Cluster door is locked, and that's because you'll need to go up to this panel here first and put in a jumper cable and a car battery. Once you've done this, you will be able to unlock this blast door, and it will bring you into Alpha Cluster. So once you guys have activated the door from now we're going to go get the r4d detector so i'll show you guys where you can find it so coming from that blast door we just opened up you'll notice that you can go into the center of this chemical plant part of the map once you guys go into the center you should see a small building that's broken down but it has four windows around it once you guys go inside this room you should find an r4d detector and i'll show you guys exactly where so you should find it right here on this little workbench once you have that detector, go back to Alpha Cluster. By now, the door should be open. But make sure you have that detector on you because without it, you will not be able to complete this mission. So head back to Alpha Cluster door. Now, once you guys get inside, keep in mind, there will be a sentry gun. So just don't bum rush in there. You want to make sure you take out this sentry gun. Keep in mind, I'm doing this solo. So I have to be a little bit extra careful. So take out the sentry gun and I'll show you guys what to do after. So once you guys have destroyed the sentry gun, head on in. At this point, you won't really even need your night vision goggles anymore, so you can drop them if you want. Now, one thing that you will need, though, is a DDoS. If you can find a DDoS, it will help a lot because there's some sentry guns and stuff down below you have to destroy. Now, if you don't find one, that's fine, but just keep in mind, you'll probably want to at least play it up and be ready for a big fight because when you get into the next room, there's going to be at least 20 people in there and some sentry guns as well. So make your way into Alpha Cluster once you're ready for the big fight, and you'll want to probably take things slow here, especially if you're a solo player. Don't want to go down here, so I suggest looting some of these rooms on the way, getting some self-revives if you can, and then pushing out into the server room. Now once you guys get into the server room, you want to go immediately to the right. Once you head down the stairs, go straight to the right. There will be a bunch of enemies that you have to fight, so I suggest taking out every single enemy that you see because there, you'll be in this room for a few minutes doing a lot of different steps. So I suggest trying to take out every AI. You don't want to get blindsided and shot in the back. So take out all the AI you can and head to the right. Now keep in mind, guys, once you head to the right and you go up these stairs, you're going to find two sentry guns. So this is where the DDoS will come in and helpful if you have one. If not, it's fine, but you will have to spray them down. So take out all these tier three enemies in the sentry gun and you'll be able to move on to the next step. So once you guys have taken out the sentry gun and everything, this is where you can start doing the puzzle to get through this blast door. So you should see a keypad right here. And what you'll wanna do is you'll take the detector and put it above the keypad and you're gonna see three symbols on it. Now either take a screenshot or write these three symbols down because you will need to know what these symbols mean here in just a second. So I'll show you guys exactly how to complete this puzzle. So once you have taken your screenshot and you know what symbols there are, 
Keep track of where the symbols are because you will have to enter in a three number keypad. So you'll notice we have the star, the B, and then we'll just call that the pi symbol. So keep in mind that the order you see the symbols in is also the same orders that you will put in the numbers. So right below this keypad, you have a number keypad and you can put in three numbers. Now I'll show you guys how to find the three numbers. Now keep in mind guys, these symbols will change every single game. So there's a chance that you will have a different symbols than me. And also the number combination will change every single game as well. So there's no just skipping it. You have to do it every single time. So once you guys come, come here, you'll jump down and you'll notice you'll see the star on this window and a chalkboard. Now, if you take the detector again, you'll want to go ahead and take a look at this chalkboard. You'll notice that we have the star symbol there and it's the same star symbol from that we saw before. And then we have a number. So what you want to do is just take a look at the symbol. You'll notice that one had a star on it and then a number. And that's how we know that that symbol equals that number. So each symbol will have its own designated chalkboard. And you'll want to go around and I'll show you guys where all the chalkboards are located. So that's the first one. You want to take a look there, find the symbol and then find the number. Now there's going to be another blackboard over in this area and it will have a symbol on it as well. Now there's a chance that uh, some of these chalkboards won't have the symbol you're looking for and that's okay. If the symbol you're looking for isn't on the chalkboard, just simply move on to the next one. So if you head over to the right here, we're going to look at two more chalkboards. There's actually one chalkboard right here to my left. So right here to my left next to this elevator, there will be another chalkboard next to this like green blast door. There's a chance that your code might be located on this chalkboard. So be sure to take a look there. Now, after you've stopped at that chalkboard, be sure to take a look at it with the detector to try to find your symbol and your code number and then move on because the final chalkboard you need should be over here in this corner. So again, you'll want to just point it at it. You'll see that I have that pi symbol and then this, it's pointing to the six. So this time we actually know that it's right because we saw the pi symbol back at the beginning. And then now we have a number that corresponds to that symbol. So now that we have all three of our number combinations or at least two of the numbers, we can head back to the keypad and I'll show you guys how you can get in. So once we head back to the keypad, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take those numbers that we found off those blackboards and we're gonna put them inside of this keypad. So you'll notice that I had the star on that first keypad and that actually equaled out to be a seven and then the other one equaled out to be a six at the end. So now that we have those symbols from the chalkboards, we'll line those same exact symbols up. You'll notice, remember that star equaled a seven and then that pi looking symbol ended up equaling a six. So from there, all we have to do is just simply type in our three digit code and the door will open up. Now, once you're in here, there's a few items you'll want to collect and I'll show you where they all are located. So there's gonna be the map that you came in here for the quest, but then there's actually another item you really wanna pick up and that is this heated madness attachment. So if you guys didn't know, there's actually a secret gun that you can build, but you have to get every single part out of here. And that's one of the hardest parts to find. So definitely extract that heated madness blueprint. If you already have it, just extract it anyway, because it will give you a ton of XP as well. So that's how you'll find that. And then also keep in mind, you will need this map as well. So once you have that map, you can go to an exfil and luckily the exfil is located inside of this room. So just head out of the map and you will be done with this mission. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I know it was a longer video than you're used to. I like to upload short guides, but this one's just got a lot of steps in it. So hopefully it helped you guys out. You were able to finally get this one done and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.